Gust Weatherall's face comes up, Reva, at your comm station. Boom. <laughs> Uh, and next to that is Damien Factor, your old boss, who both sort of start speaking at the same time. Gus Weatherall says, As an admiral of the Amerikanian Space Brigade, we hereby demand the immediate surrender of the traitor Norman Takamori. Please hold. Uh, our Amerikanian Tigers are each going to take a full double move towards the worst. And uh, you see... Reva, popping up next to that. Um, this was sort of a, a handsome looking uh, sort of UFTP guy saying, uh, hi, do I have the comms officer of the worst? That's correct, you do. Thank hi. you for calling the worst. Uh, Damien Factor, I'm with United Free Trade Planets. Um, we are trying to get in touch with Margaret and Cena, who I believe is the owner of the vessel. Uh, we need the immediate surrender of the Princeps Zorch. Uh, so if that can be made effective immediately, any movement on your ship is going to trigger us firing on your ship. Thank you so much for all of this information. We've heard so much about you. Please hold. I don't want to, oh, that UFTP squadron of fighters is going to come flying in. They're going to take a double move as well. They also have 400 feet of movement uh, as they come in on the worst here. Comms comes in on the bridge. Once again, Reva underneath as swarms of these warfare witnesses comes in. Hey there, sugar. Could you patch us through to your gunner channel? Absolutely not. Can I help you? <laughs> we need the surrender of one rogue android on your ship. She's a bit of a copyright liability. Ah, uh, thank you so much for asking, but actually I believe that you are the copyright uh, culpability. Wiggle! <laughs> <laughs> um, boom, goes off. A switchboard. <laughs> yeah. Warfare Whitney's are going to take a double move, so that's only going to be 400 feet of movement for them. Their movement is 200 feet? Yeah. Well. Yeah, they're fast. Uh, Go to channel. Just, just to be absolutely clear, we are um, I, I, the metaphorical word for it that you use. I believe is absolutely screwed. <laughs> uh, uh, just, just uh, in case you were wondering, maybe where, baby went. Well, we're uh, nuts and bolts, so we're all about getting screwed. Yeah. <laughs> now, right, sis. Yeah, I look at, uh, I've hung like a Vercadian protector droid calendar. <laughs> and They're I, all soaking wet. I look at V909. <laughs> yeah, I like getting screwed. <laughs> uh, another screen opens up on the comms in front of you, Reva. Uh, you see like, a scary looking dude in a weird dripping basement wearing sunglasses <laughs> in this like dark room goes, uh, do I have the comms officer of the worst? I do. Are you okay? That room looks very drippy. Uh, you can just call me Doc. We're looking for Gunny Miggles Rashbacks. We've gotten word from Repo Reapers Corporate that his account is actually about to be closed. Uh, yes, I believe so. Uh... Great. So we've put him on fire sale and let our agents know that we have a limited amount of time to collect on his contract before corporate closes oh, on Oh, that it. sounds highly immoral. Please uh, hold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. How much is it? Uh, 750,000 uh, credits. That's exactly the same as it was before. Please hold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you basically see that they're like, if we can have corporate like make this deal at the same time that we're collecting on this contract... We make double the money, basically. Another screen opens up. Um, you see this beautiful, elegantly decorated um, alien monarch saying, At once connect me to my child, the Princess Zorch. Is that your child or is that your body's child? Please hold. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and move the Repo Reaper faction, they're also going to take a double move that's 700 feet directly for the worst. Oy, oy, oy. Uh, both Amerikadian command ships uh, and the UFTP command ship are going to ready actions. All right. <laughs> uh, on the comm station, uh, Reva, you see Uncle Bob shows up. Well, hey there. What's your name, friend? I think you already know my name, and I think you're lying. Well, tough news. Seems like you've got a piece of Gravar World technology. As a proud spokesman and owner of Gravar Enterprises, we'd love to get it off your hands. Would you be a pal and send it on over? I don't see what being a friend has to do with any of that. That doesn't seem like what it is at all. And actually, how can you own something that is sentient? That doesn't seem right. Please hold. <laughs> 